Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, I burned up my candles and I didn't buy any more. So, okay, so tonight what I'm going to make is some hamburger and tomato gravy with some grits on the top. Okay, with this, you could have, uh, you could have, let's see, I wrote it where, uh, biscuits cornbread, mashed potatoes, or rice. So this, this would be good. You can make any kind of meat with this, hot dogs. So I have a quarter pound hamburger because I just want to make enough for yours truly. And so it wasn't very greasy hamburger, so I will use a little of my homemade butter. I have a little bit left, just enough for tonight. Here it is. Gotta be careful with homemade butter. All right, I'm gonna use half of it in my, uh, half of it for my gravy, and then the other half is going to go on my grits. So let me move my, my hamburger over. All right. I like these packages. I like to buy, I buy them at 99 cent only. So uh, I want to be careful not to get too much uh, flour. Okay, so uh, this video is why stop pile now? Things have always been okay. During the pandemic, you know, things were okay. We didn't starve. Why, why panic? There's no need for panic. Uh, I don't think there's any need for panic, but... Okay, there has been some prophecy uh, of food shortages this fall. So why even worry about food shortages this fall or at all? Okay, I buy these at Walmart for 48 cents. So if you're using, this is, uh, what is this? This is uh, seasoned with spices this kind of tomato sauce you don't need to add anything to it uh if you, you you could use stewed tomatoes that would be really good all right let me show you what i've got so far so see how it's still a little too thick if i make a lot of gravy that's okay Okay, so uh, this fall, uh, we're watching um, Europe, and uh, there's been reports that the inflation is worse than in Europe than here. Now, possible fuel spikes. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, this week, for the first time in a long time, I bought gas just below uh, $5, and that really helped. I got a lot more gas, for one thing. Okay, uh, lower, they're saying possible, get ready for lower standard of living. So what we're doing, at least what I'm doing, is I'm trying, I'm trying not to go backwards, no matter what. Uh, because when you get down, then it's too hard to get back up. Um, and there's been reports in Australia that people like single moms are skipping meals. So uh, probably there's a lot of people, if the truth be known, that are skipping meals in America. Uh, people don't go around telling you, yeah, we're really hard up, we're skipping meals. Uh, what else is going to happen? Well, it's happening now, there's job layoffs. Okay, so when the people with good jobs, I'm going to add a little of water. When people with good jobs get laid off, what happens? Well, what happens is foreclosure on the house. How are you supposed, like in San Diego, it's like $10,000 just to get up in the morning. So you lose your good job and uh, you're, you're going to lose your house. And then, if you lose your house, where are you supposed to go live? That's the thing, you know, in these, you want to be careful who you rent from. 
because how are you supposed to, so what happens there's been times oh this is starting to look good now there's been times it's been actually hard to get into a um an apartment there's been uh rental shortages okay uh so job laid off and then what else is going to happen well this is already happening too now i see this in the hair business they are just going out of there is no hair business they're just going out of the hair business as as uh luck would have it i retired right before the uh covid but if I, if I was to have to work, God forbid, uh, first of all, I wouldn't really want to work ever again as a hairdresser. You know, that was just awful during the, so business is going under. So, okay, what happens? You can't pay, and the rents are going up. The rents are going way up on businesses. And so then you lose your business they're saying good luck getting credit on your businesses you lose your business then how are you supposed to pay for your house and how are you supposed to pay for your car and they're saying at this time that people are so in debt that uh, they're not getting out for the rest of their lives so I hope that is an exaggeration that's pepper and I hope that is an exaggeration but something tells me it's probably not. Uh, already, uh, they're saying the bankruptcies are are up. So not to be a pessimist, but, uh, you know, say it's tough times now. So uh, what we don't want to do is take a chance of getting in a position of, of food short, shortage. So that's why stockpile now so you won't be skipping meals, so you won't be... Uh, getting a lower standard of living so what i'm going to be doing is stockpiling one meal a day it's not going to be an expensive meal it's the stockpile uh, everyone i eat my stockpile but what my stockpile i eat it as i go along but it's really for an emergency so it would help me a lot if there was some kind of problem and i had a nice uh, stockpile. I'm not saying spend more money than you can afford because that's a real bad thing to do. So, okay, today I went to Dollar Tree and I said, what can I find? Well, I found something good. How about this? And it doesn't expire until February 26th. Last night I was eating those noodles and I bought them a long, long time ago. So everything I buy, I want to get the longest expiration date I can. Okay, what I could do is cook up spaghetti and put the chili on top. I could make fries. I could put the chili on top. Hot dogs. I could put cheese on top. I could add. I could add the chili to macaroni and cheese, or I could uh, get. I could eat it with crackers or cornbread. Hopefully, if I had that in the house. Oh, my gravy's looking good. Look at this. You could put macaroni in this. Okay, so let me show you my, ow, my grits are hot. Here's my grits. And I'll show you my grits box. So what I want to do is put my grits right on my, um, my uh, hamburger and let them soak up the, uh, the, the hamburger. This is two packets. And, of course, I got these dirt cheap, real dirt cheap. I got them uh, for uh, 50 cents for a box of 10. Okay. So, now what I want to, I have meat in my, uh oh my new necklace. I have meat in my uh, tomato gravy. I could... Uh, there's all kinds of things you can you can eat with this gravy. Uh, I've done so many videos on um, gravy, but if if times get hard, don't forget gravy. How about the small catechism? No gravy eating during fast days. And I was cracking up, and I thought, how did you know exactly what I was thinking? So here is the grits. 
And these are instant. If I see these on sale, I grab them. All right, now I want to make myself feature man salad. So I went to uh, Albertsons and I bought uh, two of these uh, salad kits. I got them reasonable. So I will use this one, uh, the Southwestern, because we have the cabbage. All cabbages are not created equal either. Some cabbages are a lot tastier than others. So uh, we're going to go into, you know, uh, one way to uh, have more food is to buy food that lasts a long time, like cabbage. So, okay, I just need enough. This comes with salad dressing, I think. I don't know. And then I have carrots and tomatoes. So I just want to make a little bit... You know, I can have, oh, I see some nice onions in there. Uh, another place that you can get uh, good uh, salad mixes is Trader Joe's. So, okay, I'm going to have, so here's what we've got so far. So carrots last a long time. And if you don't have carrots, you can make this. Ooh, my, my food looks good. Let me show you. Uh, this is one thing I usually stock up on a few every now and then, too. Here it is. Take a look at this. Okay, so uh, what we want to do right now is to say to yourself, if you're like me, do I look like the kind of little old lady who's going to sit in her house and uh, let herself be caught with no uh, food in the house? One of the best things you can possibly do to yourself is stockpile a little food all the time. Like, you know, the Dollar Tree chili. I will do another one tomorrow. I will be doing these. A little um, sweet relish and a little ketchup. That's the recipe I got from Feature Man. And I think this is... A great recipe. I'm going to put it in my cookbook if I ever get it done. <laughs> if and when. Okay, so now I will just, so this is a pretty decent little meal. So once you get your, you get your uh, cabbage and your carrots, you know, you're habitually buying that. So it's in the house all the time. One cabbage or one. So here it is. That's going to taste good with my uh, grits. Okay, now I made something else. Okay, you guys saw the rice milk. See, I've been drinking. I keep the spoon in it, and then I just... This is pretty good. This is rice milk. You just boil milk till it generates, it generates um a milky water and then you keep pouring it off and boiling your uh boiling your um rice water until the rice is like pulverized then just put it in the um the blender so this time i knew that because i made the rice milk i'm going to be making non-cow milk milk rice milk cashew milk almond milk oatmeal milk pea and soy. I was trying to find edamame, but all the uh, veggie people beat me to it. So what I had is cashews from Dollar Tree, so I use a quarter, a quarter cup, and I boiled it down. So let me show you what I came up with. So it's a little bit too thick. It tastes good. So what I want to do is just like I did with the rice milk, add about the same amount of water as milk I generated, give or take. So the rice milk for a cup, for a quarter cup generated more uh, milk, but that's okay. So, so you're not going to be running out of milk again. And then today I was going to make almonds, so I bought a half a cup of parboiled almonds. But I saw I had these, so I'm going to be going through the house checking for nuts. 
So uh, once you start learning this, you know, for a while there, I saw the food bank was giving people huge bags of uh, nuts. Do these people know you can make milk? So what I did is I started with a quarter cup cashews and two cups milk and I boiled them until the milk, the water was milky. Then I strained them. I just had to strain, a, you know, and then I put the almonds, I mean the cashews back in and this time I just barely covered them and I kept boiling, boiling until the cashews were really, really soft. Then I put them in my blender and I pressed, uh, what did I press? I pressed high three or four times. And then when I poured it through my screen, it was all the way. So you're gonna have milk. You're gonna have food. You're gonna have cheap food. Now let's taste this. I think this would be a good thing to eat with a spoon. So here it is. Okay. I was watching this wealthy guy on YouTube. Oh rats, I didn't put my my tea in my teapot. And he said, get off your lazy butt and plant a garden. So I go, oh, wow, you know, I was, it wasn't because I was lazy. I was just thinking, well, maybe it's not worth it. And he had pictures of his wife and his little daughter. And so what I did, and I didn't want to do this either. And it turned out so good for me because it had been pouring down rain. We have a mountain, we have mountains all over. So I went to them right up the street and I got dirt a lot and I hauled it into my backyard. By then it was starting to get dark. So then... I had crabgrass, and fortunately the dirt was still uh, soft, and I was able to get most of the crabgrass. And I put um, a, I put a photo of the beginnings of my garden on my Instagram. R Stone, all one word, continuing six one nine two thousand eight, and I will be posting my garden progress. Okay, so I'm buying five extra dollars worth of gas. Okay, if you normally fill your tank, just put five dollars aside. Five dollars extra meat. Uh, today I didn't buy meat. Oh, I'm having for dessert. At one time I stockpiled these cookies. So I might have them. And, well, these are really good, actually. These are uh, pecan flavored. These are Mexican cookies and they come in their own pack. But because of Feature Man, I started stockpiling uh, these um, these puddings. So I might have one of those instead, or I might eat it you know, in the middle of the night. Okay, uh, refill water at the kiosk for 35 cents. I did that. One extra toilet paper. I didn't do that, I forgot. One plant. I didn't buy a plant today, but I did buy a grapevine yesterday and one meal. So I'm trying to do those things. Here's the list. Each day or each week. Okay, I'm trying to make bread and make yogurt. So I have yogurt in there maybe tomorrow. Uh, okay, and I'm buying food that lasts a long time, like uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, turnips, squash, cabbage, and carrots. I'm getting used to that now. Now, if you are likely, if you are in one of the groups, like a senior like me, go to and are likely to suffer food shortage if the inflation, if you're barely getting by now, go to the food banks, pantries, churches, and EBT. A lot of the followers have been uh, like um, attacking people who go to the food bank, especially if they get EBT too. Um, I don't think there's any restriction for getting both if you feel you need it. And from what I'm seeing, if you're a senior, if you don't need it now, you might need it in the future. So why not just go now? I'm not... No, I'm not saying be a resource hog, but try to, you know, figure out how to do it now. 
in the city I live in, you can go probably every single day of the week. So I think I am going to try to go maybe once a month or so. And then the other important thing is if there's any way possible, try to earn a little extra money now. Uh, try to get more than one job. You know, this uh, job loss thing is going to be drastic. Aside from the fact that, you know, the people aren't buying and we're in a recessed thing, the AI is going to be taking over all kinds of jobs. Like now you'll go into Dollar Tree. They have one clerk. They don't care how many people are waiting. Uh, McDonald's, they don't see why you can't just go wait 15 minutes with your car idling to get a hamburger there. And then the hamburgers are expensive. And I think that was because they forced all the owners to get these, um, these improvements on the restaurants, mostly with the idea probably of the AI starting to take over and do a lot of things at the clerks. You know, they want you ordering your own food. What does that mean? No clerks. Like, um, like Walmart. I can remember, you know, I, I really didn't want to do the kiosk because I knew it was taking jobs. Uh, the people you call on the phone, you know, when you need answers to questions and you just keep going to automation, to, they're going to be, you know, customer service jobs. All kinds of jobs are going to be eliminated by the AI. So... That is why the best thing you can do now is stockpile. Stockpile food. Don't be stupid about it, but stock up a little bit. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.